The Boeing XPBB-1 Sea Ranger was a large twin-engine flying boat produced by Boeing for the US Navy. In 1940, the US Navy began looking for a long-range flying boat. Some sources state this was due to the U-boat threat that was present off the east coast of the United States, while others have stated that the US Navy were looking for an aircraft to patrol the vast space of the Pacific Ocean. In any case, Boeing, with some experience building flying boats, designed the Model 344 to fulfill such a requirement, and a contract of 57 examples were offered to Boeing in June of 1940. The new aircraft would be built at a new plant constructed on the south shore of Lake Washington in Renton, Washington. This plant was owned by the US Navy. However, for the prototype, it is said that most of the building was undertaken at the Boeing factory at Seattle before being moved to Renton for final assembly. The Sea Ranger would be powered by two Wright Duplex Cyclone XR3358 engines. Its wings were of a similar design to those employed on the B-29 Super Fortress, and it took and implemented a number of aerodynamic features from the Boeing Model 314 Clipper. The wingspan was some 139 feet and 8 inches long, and 10 bomb bays, 5 on each side, were built into the wing center section. The Model 344 was operated by a crew of 10. Some sources list defensive armament as just being 4 machine guns. However, other sources state that it contained 5 powered turrets. I tend to lean towards the 5 powered turrets being correct, as this is what is listed in the pilot's notes. The pilot's notes list that these turrets were located one in the nose, one in the tail, one on top just aft of the trailing edge of the wing, and then one on each side of the fuselage in a waist position. Bomb load was listed at 20,000 pounds of bombs or two torpedoes. The Sea Ranger had a range of 4,245 miles. However, this could be increased as it was designed to undertake booster takeoff, where it would be catapulted off of barges. However, the program never progressed enough for this feature to be tested. The prototype had yet to fly when the program was cancelled. Events such as those at Midway had convinced the US military to change tactics to favour land-based aircraft. Hence, the need for a long-range flying boat was no longer needed and the program was cancelled. It was also believed that undertaking this small production run of 57 aircraft would take away vital resources from the B-29 program. The Boeing XPBB-1 Sea Ranger took to the skies around Lake Washington for its maiden flight on the 9th of July, 1942. The aircraft was said to have good handling abilities. In fact, very few issues were found with the aircraft. The prototype was the only example produced and hence got given the nickname the Lone Ranger and at the time of its first flight, it was the largest twin-engine aircraft to be built. The Lone Ranger was handed over to the Navy and continued to stay at Renton for a period of time. It finally left Renton on October 25, 1943, heading down to San Diego, California. It seems that the Lone Ranger was kept in service for a number of years. In what capacity is somewhat unclear, although it seems in some form of trials and evaluation program. Eventually, it ended up at Norfolk Naval Air Station in Virginia, where it was placed in storage. The Sea Ranger is said to have retired in 1947. The Renton plant would be utilized for B-29 production after the Navy swapped the plant with the Army for another plant in Kansas. The Renton site is still used by Boeing to this day, where they use it to produce the Boeing 737. The Sea Ranger would mark the end of 25 years of designing and building flying boats by Boeing. Even though it never entered production, the Sea Ranger had a great potential, a very interesting design indeed. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure to go leave a like and subscribe for future videos. In the meantime, keep flying high.